Hello, and welcome back to the Tonic Accord podcast. We're going to be talking about the Dalai Lama in Tibet. And it's, um, it's the idea of reincarnation and what the Chinese government's doing to kind of control the Tibetan minority in its country. Um, this is a, an issue that um, has been around for a while, um, uh, popularized especially in the 80s and 90s um, you know, with the Dalai Lama traveling around the world um, promoting the Tibetan cause. Um, kind of died down in recent years as shift on China has gone to other things as far as you know, Uyghur Muslims and coronavirus. You don't hear too much about uh, the um, Tibetan issue and the Dalai Lama. So we're going to touch a little bit on that today, kind of get you up to speed of what this situation even is. And, um, and how China's been changing its strategy for its control of its minorities and ethnic groups um, over the last few decades. So kind of a crazy stuff, heavy topic. Um, but yeah, I remember learning a lot about this, Alex, as a or, or not a lot about this. I remember learning a little bit about this as a kid. When I would hear things about the Dalai Lama, I would see Dalai Lama references in like, you know, Simpsons and Family Guy. And I do remember, I think every president met with the Dalai Lama once or twice. But I had really no idea why he was important, why he was always traveling around. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, what's 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 your take of like and why is the Dalai Lama such an important person? Well, so he is. He is somewhat of the religious, cultural, and spiritual leader of Tibet, historically speaking. And obviously, he's a, he's a big face of Buddhism. And basically, my understanding, and believe me, I am not an expert on this, is that the Chinese government feels threatened by opinions that are different from their own. And we've seen that in, in the Uyghur concentration camps in Yanyang. And we've seen that in Hong Kong as well, because it's definitely more progressive. And we've seen that in Tibet, because this is a religious, I, I, can't, I guess I can't say country, but a religious part of China that has always been at odds with kind of the Chinese communist Han view of where the country should be. And just really quick, just, just so people know, because I, I actually had to look up this today as well. But there's a great article, Council on Foreign Relations, that just talks about the question of Tibet. And basically, they've just had tensions between each other since I think it was like the 1300s. And it's basically because the Chinese government feels that, well, what dynasty was it? There was a king or Qing ruled China and uh, they ruled Tibet. And since then, there's kind of been pride inside of China on keeping Tibet. So there's that side to it. And there's also just the side that China doesn't like religion. Like it's, they are hyper secular and the only religion is the communist party. And so since then, basically the, the U S has always had a stance of Tibet is part of China, but on the side, they, the CIA's helped Tibet try to break away during the cold war. Right. It's, it's weird. There's, it's really convoluted. Uh, but yeah, like it's, 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 it's just interesting. Like the Dalai Lama fascinates me because apparently he's reincarnated 13 times and, from what I've gathered, the Chinese government is just trying to stop that process and plant someone else in there who would be more friendly to Beijing's concerns. Yes. Yes, that's what I've gathered as well, that they they 